Some wealthy homeowners have been getting property tax breaks worth millions of dollars thanks to the L.A. County Assessor's Office. There are allegations that the head of that department, John Noguez, took care of those who contributed to his campaign. In a Fox 11 News investigation, Gina Silva caught up with Noguez and managed to get the Assessor's Office to take action after she asked, that home is worth what? We'd like to talk to you about the scandal surrounding your office. LA County Assessor John Noguez ignored our questions, wouldn't talk to us, just smiled and waved goodbye. Attorney David Yosefiad says he's seen firsthand how the assessor's office offers to help people who make political contributions. The culture that Mr. Noguez has instilled in a very short time in the assessor's office is corrupt. Noguez is on a paid leave of absence in the wake of suspicion stirred up by one of his appraisers. Scott Schenter lowered property values on multi-million dollar homes and left people asking why. Here's a perfect case where you had a, a condo that was basically brought down in assessed value by 69%. Here's another one of 70%. Randy Economy at Los Cerritos News was the first to ask some of those questions. You're looking at what's being called Shenter's List. Impressive properties all over Southern California. Like this one in Beverly Hills worth $7.4 million. Shenter reduced it to 4.8. This Santa Monica home worth 2.7 million reassessed to 1.7. This mansion on Beverly Boulevard worth 6.2 million. Shenter lowered the value to 3.9. It's a classic pay to play situation. Economy discovered many of the homeowners who benefited from the lower property values were contributors to No Guess's campaign for assessor. Many of those people had hired tax agent Ramin Solari, who helped no guests raise a million dollars for his campaign. To have this type of, of access between John Nogu's and property tax agents who fund his campaign as political wishes is just an outrage to people. So how were the property values lowered so drastically without a legitimate explanation and without anyone catching on? We've been digging through dozens of documents at the assessor's office. We came across one property in Brentwood now on under investigation and this case involves several of the key players. This is a five bedroom country English home in Brentwood. In 2007, it was listed for sale at $8.4 million. But the guy who bought it, who Sean Nanvar, claims he only paid $3.7 million for it and insists that's all it's worth. He wasn't happy when appraisers from the assessor's office kept valuing his property between $6 million and $8 million. That happened several times. So then Nanbar hired tax agent Ramin Solari, who appealed the decision. Solari is now under investigation. Within a few months, the value of the property was placed on the tax rolls at $3.7 million. You can see here a line was drawn across the $6.8 million, and in handwriting, the value was lowered to $3.7. Who signed off on this? Take a look. John Noguez's people, Scott Schenter, who was arrested, has not posted bail and is still in jail. And this man, Mark McNeil, now under investigation and on paid leave. We tried to get a response from McNeil, but he wanted nothing to do with us. No comment. Are you sure? Yeah. We also tried to talk with the homeowner, Nambar, but he also refused to comment. Hussein, your property is under investigation. Uh, you guys cannot have a camera in here, okay? Nambar called back the same day to say he's done nothing wrong, that he hired tax agent Solari, and that whatever Solari did was done without his knowledge. But attorney Yosefia says how John Noguez has run the assessor's office is crystal clear. There was only one conclusion to draw that the LA County Assessor's Office was for sale and that if you have given money to Mr. Noguez and that if you were there to give money again, you're going to get special treatment that you and I would never be able to get. In our next report. If every taxpayer in LA doesn't stand up and say this is an outrage. The documents that may have fooled members of the Assessment Appeals Board. I don't know what people are thinking. Our story got results. This afternoon we got a call from the LA County Assessor's Office telling us that based on our investigation they began looking into the property we focused on and they discovered there is no legitimate reason for the dramatic drop in value. We spoke to Luis Reyes from the assessor's office and this is what he had to say. When Fox 11 brought this to our attention, um, we 
looked at the Assessment Appeals Board for further information that we didn't have access to. Um, after reviewing the information, we restored the value to $7,459,000 from it, the previous amount. And that previous amount that Shenter had lowered the property value to was $3.7 million. The homeowner will now receive a bill for back taxes owed since 2008. And again, the real property value is now $7.4 million. And the assessor's office says that they will also refer this case to the DA.